My name is George Sugliotis. I born and raised in Greece. I came to this country in 1966. I was a general contractor. I never missed one day's work. I woke up one morning and the police that were there, they, they accused me of burning a house for money and kill, you know, a mother with two children. They arrest me, they put me in, in, in jail, and then 17 years later, they agree was wrong. The attorney general signed everything is wrong, sorry. Sorry is not enough. What happened to me? Our clients had spent years of litigating their cases to prove to a court that they were wrongfully convicted. We presented new evidence that the original jury had not heard and a court decided that had that jury heard this evidence, they likely would not have convicted our clients in the first place. That is where you're meeting our clients when we get to the compensation stage. And now the compensation process requires our clients to affirmatively prove their innocence in order to be compensated by the state for all of the years that they were wrongfully convicted. When they finish, the judge says, Mr. Suryotis, all charges would be dropped. To me, that means, you know, if all the charges drop, you put me in jail wrong, wrongfully. And that's what their wrongfully convicted compensation means. And we went to an evidentiary hearing. We have the evidentiary hearing. The attorney general, again, you know, he lied and he tried to make me like a criminal. I said, ask him to give you, you know, the report of the fire department report. And they prove, you know, I was innocent and you recommend the board to pay me. A few months later, we went to board and they find excuses not to pay me. This is, is a, is a, like a joke, it's like a game. All that money wasted of these hearings and this and that, I mean. Here a court dissected all of this evidence, enough to reverse the conviction, and that's not enough to get compensation from the state. When they go through what they have gone through for a court to reverse their conviction and the state to dismiss charges against them, they should not be presumed guilty. They are presumed innocent and should be compensated by the state. The judge says, you know, you're innocent, all charges will be dropped. If I'm not innocent, why you let me free? The presumption of innocence, that is the bedrock of our criminal legal system. And that does not carry forward to the victim's compensation process. And so what SB 446 is trying to do is really pay homage to the fact that we are restoring the presumption of innocence. And if the state still believes that I don't deserve compensation for the state, then the burden is now on them to establish that. That will be a new chapter in my life. I will close the old chapter. I will kiss goodbye the 17 years I lost in jail and begin you know, fixing my life, putting it in order. I'm going to take my girlfriend and go dancing. <laughs>